President Macron of France has suffered a major political setback after his party failed to win a majority in the country's parliamentary elections. The left alliance did better than expected and Macron now faces a tough challenge to deliver his policies. The centrist ensemble coalition, so they're expected to win 245 seats, well short of the 289 that are needed to control the National Assembly. The left-wing alliance, headed by Jean-Luc Mélenchon, is second on 131. Marine Le Pen's far-right national rally has 89 seats, with the mainstream right-wing Les Républicains, headed by Christian Jacob, back on 64. Let's hear more from our Paris correspondent, Lucy Williamson. His centrist coalition has lost a third of its seats. Just look at the mood. The situation is unprecedented. The National Assembly has never seen a configuration of this type in the Fifth Republic. The situation constitutes a risk for our country in view of the challenges that we have to face. This is now President Macron's main opposition, a new alliance of green and left-wing parties dominated by far-left MPs. The initial estimates confirming their new status as the first opposition party of France. It's the total defeat of the president's party and there is no majority. We have achieved the political objective we gave ourselves to bring down the men who with such arrogance twisted the arm of the whole country to get elected. But this was the big surprise of the night. Marine Le Pen's far-right National Rally Party jumped from a handful of seats to almost 90. Plenty of opposition to the president from all sides. We're going to continue to bring French people together as part of a great popular movement unifying all patriots from the right and the left. The parliamentary opposition to Mr Macron's centrist coalition is now much stronger than before, but it's also more fractured, with one bloc led by Jean-Luc Mélenchon on the far left of the chamber and another by Marine Le Pen on the far right. French politics is realigning around these three political groups. Some voters say it's no bad thing if President Macron is forced to negotiate with his opponents. Others believe denying the government a majority only leads to stagnation. President Macron is facing a new era of political opposition that some see as good for democracy and others as bad for France. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Paris. Thanks very much to Lucy. Well, let me bring you some pictures uh, that are coming out of Paris now. Uh, here we have the Parliament. Uh, there are people uh, who have been elected arriving, uh, apparently, uh, uh, following that election in France uh, gave that upset to President Macron. No doubt he's going to have to make deals uh, with the various parties so we'll be able to follow that uh, and see exactly how well he does or how successful he is in that endeavour. The BBC's Hugh Schofield is also in Paris. Paris, and he told us why, after President Macron's resounding presidential election less than two months ago, these parliamentary results look so different. A lot, a lot of people who voted for Macron did so not out of any love for him, but to keep out um, Marine Le Pen. I mean, br br broadly, the country now breaks down into three blocks, the, the centre of Macron, the left and far left and under Mélenchon, and, and the, the right, far right of Marine Le Pen. And, they're pretty much on on, the, on a level par, um, but because there are three of them, it means that uh, in 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 the in the two round election, which is the second round of the presidentials, it meant that everyone on the left voted to keep uh, to keep out Marine Le Pen. So it, uh, uh, Emmanuel Macron was was badly elected. He was elected in a kind of unhappy way, reluctantly, a, a country not giving him an enthusiastic welcome, but just saying, "All right, we agree." Uh, and, and saving up for themselves, uh, a majority of the country, this feeling that, well, we can exact our revenge in the parliamentaries which are coming. And, and that's what's happened. In, in the past, presidents tend to get a big boost in the parliamentary election follow their election because the country says, well, OK, we'll give you the tools to do the job. But not this time. That's because Macron was being re-elected and a lot of people didn't like him. Uh, a lot of people don't like him. And as I say, what, you know, we're, we're keen to have this opportunity to deliver him this... this this, this stinging review. Well, that, that happened. And I'm just wondering, I mean, what does that mean then for the next few years in France? I mean, some of the 
discontent that we've seen over cost of living or Mr. Macron wanted to bring in pension reform, for example. Somebody like Marine Le Pen was much more mm. interested perhaps in immigration. Um, I mean, where do we think there will be changes I I in French politics or, or policies or does it all come well, to a, a slowdown? You know. Well, I mean, the risk is it does come to a big slowdown. Uh, that, in, in, that in France, uh, the, the the great reform projects of, of Macron simply peter out. Uh, that he ends up c sort of cutting a kind of tacit compromise with this big opposition on the extremes, and, and and so does nothing bold or daring. But but that was his sort of trademark that he would be bold and daring. So, Possibly this this next mandate will be one of wasted opportunity, and then he'll just drift through it and focus on foreign affairs and 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 not do very much, which of course would be seen by his supporters as a great waste. And then the other question, of course, is internationally or in Europe now. I mean, he's been the great shining new leader of um, reinvigorated Europe, and uh, you know very much enjoyed this role of striding the international stage as the the young leader of a uh, of a, of a France which was back at the reins of Europe. Uh, uh, but now what? I mean, when everyone can see that he's so gravely weakened at home, will he have the same panache abroad?